Okay, our weekly little chat with uh, Coach Mash of ETBU Volleyball. Uh, Coach Mash uh, coming off a two and one crossover down at uh, Kerrville uh, this past weekend. Uh, had a loss on Friday night, but you came back and won the two matches on Saturday. Talk a little bit about uh, your team's performance first uh, Friday night in the loss and then the two games on Saturday. Yeah, you know, Friday night we, we came out and I just don't think we were mentally prepared when we stepped on the floor. Um, it was just, we didn't have a whole lot of time. We didn't get our full warm up. Shriner doesn't have a second gym to get warm in. And so, you know, we just, I felt like we weren't even playing to our level until the third game. And by then it was just a little bit late. We were already down 2-0 and we started fighting after being down by eight points. And it was just in the end against a good team. We just couldn't fight back. Yeah. And on so. Saturday, obviously, you came back, got a big win against Howard Payne early, and then you right. kept it off with a, a sweep on uh, of Sol Ross. Uh, you know, what did you see in those two matches that you really liked? Yeah, well, I was, I was a little nervous to play Howard Payne. Honestly, after coming off that loss, I knew it was an important game for us. And uh, UT Dallas went five with them Friday night prior to our match. And um, Howard Payne has a good team, and they've gotten a lot better. So I was pleased with the girls. They knew we had to win the game. And they came out, and they were ready to play. And even though we went four, we played better against them than we have a lot of teams. So... And so Ross obviously got the, the big sweep there. Uh, you know, they're struggling a little bit, uh, obviously, with their record. But, again, that's for your young team. I mean, that could be – a dangerous right. situation right, to be definitely. in. definitely. Yeah, you know, it, it's always harder to play the teams that don't quite play your style of volleyball. But one thing I was pleased with is, you know, the girls that um, are typically have been our starters, they, they did a good job getting us ahead. And then we were able to get a lot of kids some playing time that haven't had an opportunity to see the floor. And it was – it was nice to rest our kids, and it was also nice to see those kids get an opportunity and show us what they can do. So we were proud of them. You take a little break from conference this week. Uh, your next action coming up is on this weekend, and it's uh, a non-conference tournament. Uh, always a good one up in uh, Austin College. Right. Uh, what are you looking to accomplish? Uh, I know this time of the year you got some bumps and bruises and some right. banged-up bodies. Um, is this is this kind of a measuring stick that you're going to use for the last couple of weeks of the season? Are you going to hopefully play a lot of people? What what yeah. what's kind of be your strategy well, going into this? Well, you know, this? we're playing Austin College and Southwestern are two games we're going to see there, face there, and both of them are ranked um, in the top twenty five, and are every time we've played them have been great matches, and it just kind of gives us an opportunity to play some really tough competition going into conference tournament hopefully if we can continue to you know win our last few conference games so I think it's just going to give us an opportunity to play at a high level um, going into our last four conference matches. Okay and then there will be a couple of home games uh, here next week uh, to close out uh, your home schedule uh, anyway. Um, do you feel good about you're standing right now. I know you're, you're it kind of gets to where you're counting yeah. the games a little bit, but yeah. do you feel pretty good about where your team is in terms of their conference standing? Well, I do feel pretty good. I mean, I know that they ultimately, our, our goal has been set to get in that conference tournament, and um, I think that they are mentally ready going into the, our last four games. I think they know how important our home games for sure are going to be because it's always harder to play on the road. So I feel as if we can keep everybody healthy the next couple of weeks that um, we're sitting in a pretty good position.